We are going to begin with the breaking news overnight of that shocking leak of a reported draft opinion from the Supreme Court that could overturn the 1973 landmark Roe v. Wade decision legalizing abortion nationwide. Lawmakers are now weighing in on the leak and the opinion. The top Democrat, top rather congressional Democrats, uh, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, issuing a statement saying that if the report is true, quote, the Supreme Court is poised to inflict the greatest restriction of rights in the past 50 years. GOP lawmakers have also weighed in with Missouri Senator Josh Hawley, who has urged the court to overturn Roe v. Wade, calling the leak a, quote, unprecedented breach of confidentiality clearly meant to intimidate. In a statement, Planned Parenthood president and CEO Alexis Miguel Johnson called the leaked opinion, quote, horrifying and unprecedented and reminded patients that today abortion is still legal in the U.S. If Roe v. Wade is overturned, at least 26 states are certain to likely ban abortion, including much of the South and Midwest. So Natalie Brand is standing by at the Supreme Court with more on all of this. Natalie, good morning. Good morning, Anne-Marie, and this is an unprecedented leak in modern times. Uh, certainly a stunning development, but also important to note, not a final decision. That's not expected until late June uh, or early July. This morning, barricades remain up outside the U.S. Supreme Court, and overnight, hundreds had gathered outside shortly after this report came out. An explosive new report suggests the Supreme Court's conservative majority appears poised to strike down Roe v. Wade, the 1973 case that legalized abortion. Politico says it obtained a 98-page draft opinion that was circulated among the justices earlier this year. The court's opinion is not official until published, and it's unclear if this is the final version. The draft is in response to a case about Mississippi's law, which bans most abortions after 15 weeks. The ruling is expected by July. Roe was egregiously wrong from the start, Justice Samuel Alito writes. Its reasoning was exceptionally weak, and the decision has had damaging consequences. I think this was entirely expected. And I still think it's stunning. Loyola law professor Jessica Levinson notes about half the states want to ban or severely restrict abortions. If the draft opinion stands, what it means is that women will live in two very different Americas. Do you view Roe as having super precedent? Former President Trump's Supreme Court picks were pressed by Democratic lawmakers during their confirmation hearings on how they would rule if the issue came up. It has been reaffirmed many times. My position as a judge is that there's 45 years of precedent. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said in a blistering joint statement that if the report is true, the conservative justices have, quote, lied to the U.S. Senate and ripped up the Constitution. Republicans, meanwhile, praised the possibility that Roe will be overturned. Texas Senator Ted Cruz calling it a massive victory for life. Hundreds of supporters and opponents of abortion rights clashed outside the Supreme Court overnight, a preview of the state-by-state -state fight that may lie ahead for both sides. Now, according to the Politico reporting, five of the Republican-appointed justices agree with this draft opinion. It's unclear how Chief Justice John Roberts will ultimately vote. And it's also really important to note, Anne-Marie, that justices can change their votes, change their minds in the days or weeks leading up to the release of the final decision. So I have a quick question before uh, we let you go. Set the scene for us. What is it like outside of the Supreme Court? What's it like when you arrived and what's it like now? Well, things have calmed down considerably, but it's still early this morning. Uh, the barricade's still up. Right now, we see just about a couple, maybe three demonstrators standing up uh, in front of the Supreme Court. Much different scene as you saw from that video overnight when hundreds at one point had gathered out here. And at times, there were some clashes between people on, on the two different sides of uh, this issue. Uh, by early morning, when I arrived around uh, 3 a.m. Uh, there was a kind of a the the end of a candlelight vigil. Uh, a few protesters remained, and candles uh, lined the barricade in front of the Supreme Court. 
Uh, that was cleaned up overnight by some workers who were also spending time uh, spraying off, wiping down graffiti that had been painted on the sidewalk uh, overnight. Obviously, tensions extremely high uh, late last night into the night. And I am sure the crowds will uh, return today as they continue to make their voices heard as the reaction to this continues to pour in, Anne-Marie. Yeah, it's uh, only just begun. Natalie, thank you very much.